Domingo Herman towing the slab in the boogie down here. See on the other speed, his 19th start on the year. You're talking about a guy, if you're going to get to him, you got to hit the ball that spins. Loves throwing the breaking ball. Brandon Nemo went four for 13 in the series in Boston. He leads off against Domingo Herman. Nemo clocks one down the right field line toward the stands, and it hits off the wall. Nemo racing for second. The throw by Bowers is offline, and Nemo has a leadoff double. Ball just had a little bit too much topspin to reach the short fence. So the Mets in business in the opening inning. So here's Pete Alonzo appearing to break out in the series at Fenway. We'll see if that carries. He went five for 11 in the series against Boston. He's got Nimmo at third with two out. Alonzo gets one in the air to shallow left center. That might fall in. Coming on is the center fielder Bout uh, Bader. He can't make the catch, and it falls in for a hit to bring in the game's first run. With a single that should have been caught, it was up there for a long time, and the Mets have a one to nothing first inning lead. The Mets love Justin Verlander on the mound to face the Yankees tonight. He's been around so long that he has 40 interleague wins and he's pitched well against the Yankees his last 12 starts. He's seven and one with an ERA under two and that will bring up Anthony Rizzo Stanton will be running with three and two two out and Rizzo goes down swinging Verlander threw him a fastball and threw it right by him. Here is Francisco Alvarez swing and a miss. Alvarez down on strikes. Chalk up another Domingo Herman curveball K. One up, one down. Brett Beatty coming up. Swing and a miss. A change up there as Herman has struck out three in a row. It's a two up, two down. Mark Canna coming up. Swing and a miss. Got him. Herman struck out the side. So four strikeouts for Mingo. Yeah, Herman's on a roll lately. He has struck out the last four Mets that he has faced. Now one down, and that'll bring up. Brandon Nimmo and down goes Nimmo strikeout number five for Herman. Here's Lindor switch hitter batting left swings to the first pitch pops it up and back at third LeMahieu out McKinney sprinting in slides can't get it it drops Lindor trotting to second stops there is McKinney another bloop that falls in in front of the Yankee outfield the Mets take advantage of another one as Lindor is on with a two base hit first and third with two outs that McNeil walk the first Mets walk of the game. So here's Alonzo who got the pop fly single to drop he hasn't homered though in 12 games and Alonzo drills one back toward the left field wall and it's out of here. Ooh. Pete Alonzo with a line drive three run home. His 27th home run and his first one in a long time. And it is 4-0 Mets in the top of the third. And Bulpy will reach. Now here is Higashi Oka. The 0-2. In there, strike three called. Higashi Oka on three pitches caught looking. And Verlander has his fifth strikeout. Do you see how a veteran future Hall of Fame pitcher reacts to an error by his fielder? No. Three pitches go sit down. Who's next? Swing and a miss. Throw down to second base and safe. Volpe steals the base as Bauer strikes out for the second out. So runner in scoring position for Torres. And Torres pops one a mile high. Alonzo tracking it. Should have plenty of room. And that retires the side. Lead off error and Verlander gets around it with two strikeouts and a pop up four nothing after five. So it's the middle of the order for the Mets. Here's Pete Alonzo to lead off and he's driven in all four. Pete Alonzo he's a home run hitter. He hit this one deep to center back goes Bader on the warning track at the wall and it's out of here. Pete Alonzo strikes again his second home run of the night. You know the score right now Pete Alonso five New York Yankees nothing he gets it going this is what, what happens I mean, he has been their offense and now Vogelbach drives one to deep right and that's gone Alonso and Vogelbach go back to back and the Mets are lighting up the Bronx skies with baseballs Mets six Yankees nothing now here's Harrison Bader runner at first two out Bader unloads one to right center back in the gap goes Nemo with Stewart and Stewart gets out of the way wisely to retire the site and that's the second out so Lindor is now going to second it'd be a single and an E six now here's Jeff McNeil and Jeff taps one toward the middle base hit in the center field and that'll bring in Lindor McNeil just making contact. And poking it into center field to drive in a run to make it 7 0 Mets. So Kiner Falef is at first. Still a big lead for the Mets, 7 0. And here's the rookie, Anthony Volpe. 
Driven out to right field. On the run is Stewart, and that ball's going to be off the wall, and Karam's past him. IKF rounding third. They're sending him home. Here's the throw. He's in there. And Volpe's back at second. So it's an RBI double for the Yankees shortstop. Yankees on the board at 7-1. Well, nothing has been easy for these Mets this year. The mini rally here by the Yanks. Why should have changed tonight? Dominic Leon will come in to face the right-hand batters with Torres and Stanton coming up. Here's Stanton. Yankee fans coming alive. 7-1 Mets with the bases are juice with one out. Driven out to right field. Stewart backpedals and makes the catch. Tagging is Volpe. He scores. Higashioka moves to third. It's a sack line drive for Stanton, and it's 7-2 Mets. So two runs home in the inning, but a big second out. And now Anthony Rizzo with runners at first and third. Expected Rizzo to step up. He just hasn't done it. Struck him out. He went upstairs with gas. And Leon strikes on Rizzo to put an end to the inning. Yankee fans looking for a reason to dance. Their team was down 7 0 in this game. It's now 7 2, and they need just one more base runner to get the tying run to bat in the eighth. And David Robertson, who used to apply his trade in this ballpark, comes into a mess. Thrusted in a bases loaded situation. Anytime they've needed big outs, he's had to get them. Brought him to face 25 year old Ben Wurtvet. Grounded to second base. There's the out. At second, just barely, as Rortbet reaches a run score, so a fielder's choice RBI. So here's Jake Bowers, first and third two on. It's now seven to three Mets. One two coming to Bowers, and he hits it on the ground down to Alonzo, and that'll take care of the inning. So Robertson gets two outs on ground balls. So second and third with one man out, and here is Jeff McNeil. That's looking to spread the lead out. And Jeff rips one down the right field line. That'll drive in two. Nimmo is in. Lindor right behind him. McNeil pulls in at second base with a two-run double. He's got a three RBI night, and the Mets have some more breathing room. It's now nine to three in the ninth. Huge night for Alonzo, big night for McNeil. The two guys the Mets have got to get going, and they've gotten going tonight. They've driven in eight of the nine Mets runs. So now a chance for Alvarez, who's had a rough night at the plate. He's 0 for 4 with three strikeouts. Base is loaded, one out, and that hits the batter and oh. hit his hand. Did he check it first? He swung, strike three, and he is hurt. Oh, boy. Get him out of there for the night. Alvarez is going to come out of the game. The Yankees are down to their final line of the night. DJ LeMay, who's walked three times and grounded out 0 for 1. 0 2 coming. He struck him out, and the ball game is over. Big night for Pete Alonso with two homers and five RBIs. Six scoreless for Justin Verlander. And the Mets have now taken two of three from the Yankees this year.